Do you have my nose? <laughs> you actually do have something on your nose. <laughs> do, do I have it on my nose? Yeah. <laughs> it's just really glossy. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to H Muds. <laughs> Quality content. This video is brought to you by Cyber Gameway. With an emphasis on exposing streamers of all types, as well as exploring business relationships with partnered websites and service providers, Cyber Gameway is the place you want to be for streaming gamers who want that sub bump. To apply for membership or sponsorship, head over to CyberGameway.com. <sighs> and scene. Okay, um, welcome back. As you can see, I've put, well, I actually, this, I, I've mocked the case up a little bit. I haven't riveted it, it I haven't riveted it yet. Uh, and that is because uh, I plan on taking it all apart again. Actually, no, I don't, do I? I'm going to have to rivet it. Um, yes. I'm gonna have to rivet it because when it's all together, no, I don't, actually it doesn't even matter. Here's the thing, I mocked it up so that I can run the trim tape, this stuff. Uh, I mocked it up so that I can run the trim tape so it's all kind of flowing. So as you can see, it looks really good. Also one thing that I did in the interim, if you wanna get in here, one thing I did on the interim is I used this grommet rubber so that this doesn't scratch, the motherboard doesn't scratch against this. Any cables coming in through here aren't gonna get aren't gonna get torn up. And same thing up here when the cables come off the power supply. So that was for me, I think, a stroke of genius because I never think of that stuff, and a lot of modders don't either. So um, yes, it was a good idea. So what this is, it's 1 32nd inch trim tape. They use this on cars, like all kinds of stuff, and it just runs along whatever the hell line they want. So um, this is going to, I was thinking about using one quarter inch. I like the idea of just really, really super thin lines, almost like they're not even there. And when we do the purple on top of it, you'll barely even see it. But that's the thing. Like, it's going to be subtle. It's it's just going to be gorgeous. So this is what we're going to do today. I don't know how to do this. Like, uh, maybe I can kind of go like this. Like that. What do you think of that? I think curves are going to be harder, and I think straight lines are sexy. Start, start out with, you know, that first line that you were talking about, going from the top to the side panel, and see how that goes. Okay. Pretty well. Mm hmm. Really changes the look of it. Ooh. That's an idea right there. Scissors, please. Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> I didn't cut enough. That looks pretty good. What do you think? I think that your way of doing it is different than mine, and that's okay. I think that looks pretty good. That's what we're going to do.
So what else are you gonna do to the case? This is it. Well, I mean, what other designs are you gonna do with the tape? This is it. You're just gonna do this on this side until you run out of tape. I'm gonna kind of, I'm gonna try and do it the other way too. Not the same pattern. No, because no. See, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep going. So eventually, it's gonna come up. Oh. Okay. <laughs> You'll see. It's gonna look sweet. <laughs> I'm really good at the Carlton. <laughs> there goes the monetization. <laughs> I can't help it.
Okay, I am happy with how this is. The uh, oh, each side of it just looks. We're not doing this obviously because what's the point? It's the bottom. That's the bottom. Yes. We're gonna have to work on, you know, getting this stuff back into form before we paint it. Some of the stuff has drifted a little bit, but it looks just fucking fantastic. The flow is really cool. It reminds me of like, you know, when you're seeing a portal somewhere, you know, in the fantasy movies or whatever the fuck, um, there's energy, you know, except for movies like Stargate, you got a lot of, you got a lot of just movies and stuff where you just imagine a, a big sort of energized door, a door, door. And there's a book called, um, Gateway in the Sky or something like that by Robert Heinlein. It's my favorite author. And uh, no, it's Have Space You Will Travel. So this guy signs up for this sort of geo-agricultural exploration mission and a different planet. And it's like one, they're basically colonizing. Or maybe it's, no, it was part of his schooling. He, they had like the survival class and his sister had already survived, uh, done the thing so before they all went out, she gave him this super kick-ass knife that she named Lady Macbeth. And so he gets in there, he gets, he goes to the thing. It's basically a, you know, two or three month thing. And it almost sort of, it, it sort of, um, you know, they start having, you know, normal cultural problems, you know, the, you know, people fighting, you know, and in this particular case, animals like carrying them off, people like whatever. So, <laughs> So, like, it's just, it, it, when I'm thinking of a, of a portal, in, in the book it just said that there was this kind of weird uh, ethereal door. This is what I'm thinking about, the flow of all that energy, just really, the, the, what this represents is just really, really cool to me. I love how these things go along the pattern. Man, this stuff doesn't stick at all. We're gonna, really going to have to be careful with painting it. All right, we have to get this done because we're in the failing light. Uh, there's a couple of things like the tape doesn't really stick all that well. So we're gonna have to be quick about this. The interesting thing about this, is I got an idea last night. I'm actually gonna, instead of just spritzing it with purple, I'm gonna start in the back with some black and sort of intensify the black. I'm gonna work my way forward with a darker color of purple and then a lighter color of purple. Now again, I'm not saturating this at all. I'm just, I'm just painting it enough so that you notice. I am gonna have to kind of saturate it just a tad because, oh, I gotta fix that. Uh, because uh, as I discovered with, with the inside, even black is tough to pick up if you're just spritzing it. So we might have to saturate just a tad. You can't saturate, it's gonna get drippy. No, 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 not like, not like, not like, just like, you know. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. The gloss is going to be a really, really nice contrast to all this. Yeah, kind of, kind of on a, on a diagonal. Don't make it trippy. Yep. I'll do it. It's a lot thicker than I was expecting you to put it on. You always surprise me. Yeah. We're done. All right. So, 
we're gonna wait for it to dry we're gonna shoot it with some high gloss and then we're gonna put in the carbon poly carbonate windows and all that stuff and you're not gonna get to see that because I want you all to see the big reveal very happy with how this came out although I have been talking with uh, Danielle for the past several days since this has been done about how much I would have wanted to put in a computer with some lights and some stuff to show off everything that we did but really the the feasibility of that is kind of not practical because then I'd have to take it out and then send it off to protege I mean as you can see I mean it, the all finished it looks really good um, as I was saying before when we, when I was laying the tape I loved the 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 patterns that were going that would that were forming because a lot of it was just sort of accidental madness and uh, madness and ma accidental genius really in the face of madness um, just how all the different patterns started to form in different ways it reminded me of like energy coming off of portal in space or something like that it just really really resonated with me i even love how the different patterns aren't the same it's not like you know each each line is is of a similar uh spacing and you know pattern it's just it's all going this in the same area it's just it's like it's like turbulence and that's like I, I'm just really, really loving the asymmetry of it. Over here, it's a different thing than it is over here, and in front, it's a different thing than it is on the sides. And it just, it all really, really works for me. All of it just sort of meeting somewhere, and you don't really know where it is. It just, it's, it's, it's very cool to me. And that's like, that was one cool thing we did with it. The, the, the over painting of it that really worked for me even the asymmetric uh, hole drilling that you see here on the top the asymmetric uh, hole drilling for the air it speaks to me because it speaks very much like um, like um, like stars in space that kind of thing there's just uh, yeah. that was a thing for our wedding but I mean, there's, I mean, so much of this case went right. And when it went wrong, it went wrong in such a way that it actually made it look cool once I thought about the problem for a little bit. The one that's coming to mind most readily is the power supply shroud and then the front thing here. The, the accident that happened with the front uh, was that I had a different graphic made for this entirely. And it didn't fit when I applied it everything was too big even after I'd shrunk the image too much and I thought it was I thought I had fitted it perfectly I thought I'd measured it perfectly in my computer and everything sometimes stuff like this happens but that also meant that the uh, another interesting thing here was that the power supply shroud when we initially printed it the, the graphic when we initially printed it, it it looked like it was way too big and then, so I had the lady shrink it down 10% and it looked fine. It wasn't fine. It wasn't, it wasn't big enough in, on the flat end. So we ended up going with the big one and that meant that on the small one, we could use the HMODS image on the front plate. So I think it looks fine now. I think I really, really like the way everything turned out. You can make it everything right very quickly on the front on the side panel everything's you, you know what it's saying and that's great there's a power supply in here right now and i've only got two screws mounting it which means that the bracket that i made uh that's holding the power supply in place is working just fine i'm very happy with it and similarly 
the bracket that I made just underneath it for the power supply shroud is also doing its job. I will, however, whenever I ship this, I will use like, I'll send a couple of command Velcro strips along with it because what I thought was going to happen was the power supply shroud was gonna come up over this little lip here and be held in place by that. That's not what happened. For some reason, like, I had been thinking it would be like going upward at a little angle for some reason. I don't remember why I thought that. I don't know why I didn't see it. But what happened was now I've got it, um, now I've got it secured to the power supply and right now it's just electrical tape. But it works, it, it looks really good the way it is because when you pull it off, you'll see just the top of it and that's it. And in front of the power supply shroud, what I did was I created a plate like I did with Stronghold. And so now you can't see the cables going underneath, but it just, it like, it, it just, everything's just working so really, really well with this. It, it, accidental genius, that's what it was. Last thing I'm gonna talk about, and this is one of the cooler things I've done in the whole time we've been doing modding, is the USB port, which is now on the top of the of the chassis. It looks exactly how I wanted it to. It's got kind of an upward kind of kind of an angle at it, so you can get at it without like sticking stuff in there. The cool thing about this is is I cut the the I cut the hole on this panel just a little bit forward. If you go back in the videos, you'll see it. It's there, just a little bit forward of where it is on the chassis. And that was to give it sort of, just give it the sort of just forward cantation. And the way I mounted the USB port was, and this is, I'm really proud of this. I took a door hinge, a really tiny door hinge about that big. I put some double stick tape on each part of it and then I stuck it to the chassis and then I stuck it to the modified USB uh, mounting bracket which I cut like in half so it's like that much into the chassis and then you've got the cables and everything and it's perfect because if you ever want to take this part off the USB mount will just kind of go like this and then you can pull it off and then you can put it back down and it'll go back down to where it was again and I fucking love that I am so pleased with how that came out <laughs> Double stick tape, it just is, it's a, it's a lifesaver. What else, what else? Nope, that's it, bye.